Grab your bags. We're moving. Heldrell didn't want us. And those druids sure as hell didn't either. But you... You risked your life for us. I'm glad you killed all the goblins. I hope you made them scared. Can't slow down. We made it somehow. Now we just need to get to Baldur's Gate. What's up for discussion? Back to worrying about road rations it is. So many mouths to feed, but, well, that's not a bad problem to have. Thank you, truly. One sorrow ended, the next soon to begin. Of course, it's a big city, lots We didn't die today. Tomorrow, perhaps, but not today. Thanks to you. Already better. This lot better get used to berries. We couldn't have held them back on our own. Thank you. Glad to see some goblin blood spilled for a change. I'm sick of running from those rats. I nearly dispatched those goblins myself, but it seems you managed well enough. And why wield a masterwork where a butcher's blade will do? My thanks, truly. It was you, right? Who took care of the goblins? I knew you were a good one. This lot better get used... So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Of course. May you keep balance. I'll go this way. Let's move. I should mind my step. took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence. The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay. But consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Halcyon. She shows great insolence. But time will humble her, and the Grove still needs her. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The Grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. Tomorrow morning, we shall discuss what is to come. Then banish me. When the coming army marches, there will be peace. Enjoy it while it lasts. Gods, my head is pounding. No more problem. No you have more. to put it together. 
Remember, stay near the center of the group, all right? No wandering off. We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? Excellent. Lead the way. Have a drink. I'm fine. Uh, loosen up, Icarus. No, no. An Albert. <laughs> Toddlers are easier to please than you lot. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. Not everyone. We lost people, and it's like they don't even care. But I care. And I won't drink myself into a stupor to change that. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And behold! I'll have you know, he can also make them blue. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. For me? But off you go, Master Ranger. Without yes. you. Remember... Sherry! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. We killed some goblins to save some tieflings. The tally of lives didn't change much. But what do I get for all my hard work? A pat on the head and vinegar for wine. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? Not at all. I was hoping for companionship. And, well, maybe a little death. Figuratively speaking. And not with you. Just to be clear. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> Ugh, no. Anyway, don't let me keep you. I'm sure you have someone else to sniff around. He 
here for battle. Can't give up now. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades, yet they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your moisture. A glorious reward for a glorious battle. Go on, have your fun. And do not wipe away a single bead of sweat. It's intoxicating. I should speak up. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. What's next? Have you ever fought a goblin before? Is that blood? You? No. <gasps> Never mind. So the last one you took down, what was their name? We get along quite well, I think. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shah. But there'll be time for penance later. Share a bottle with me? We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. Not tonight. If not over, then through. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. Go on, do your rounds. But if they hand you something purple, don't drink it. I think they got into Ethel's potions. You came through for us. That's a change from most adults, I know. And that sounds like the wine drowning your wits. Go on, enjoy yourself. I've squirreled away a few extra bottles. When the barrel's tapped out, I'll be there to save the night. For a price, of course. And what other evil creatures have you vanquished? I fought a goblin once. A big one. <laughs> yes, you told me in great detail. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. You won't have to worry about us anymore. I'll fight anything we meet on the road. Anything. Watch out, Baldur's Gate. Chell's coming for you. You won't have to worry about us anymore. I'll fight anything we meet on the road. Anything. Watch out, Baldur's Gate. Chell's coming for you. An adoring crowd, fine wine. I dare say this place is almost civilized. Only to the untrained eye. That was the fifth time they've asked for fireworks. <laughs> Glorified children, those two. Once my training with Leroican is complete, 
I'll put on a real show for them. I won't be nursing their pounding heads and sick stomachs in the morning. Think of it. No more caves, no more tents, no more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Like you needed it. Go on. The others will kill me if I keep you all to myself. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place, a cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You could go overland, along the risen road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the shadow curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. I've chosen a successor as First Druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oakfather's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. You cannot please everyone, and you'd be a fool to try. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started.
Oakfather's blessings to you. <laughs> there are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. Perhaps. But best to not dwell on nights past. There are plenty more yet to come. I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. One of his cohorts, a dwarf called Brian, had a clue on his person. If you find his corpse in the goblin's camp, you may have a start. With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise, but the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thormund his Dark Justicius years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse, just as you find a cure for your infection. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witness the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years. But to truly understand it, and stop it, I must reach its source. Perhaps. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. Everything in your mind has been destroyed from what I gathered. And from the path I see you on, you are doing well at picking up the pieces. I am here to be your ear as you bear your burdens and the arms that protect you if you can shoulder them no more. I believe you when you tell me that your symptoms do not wholly align with the makings of the parasite. But, until we remove it, I doubt we will be able to isolate the rest of your troubles. Good lad, you're tougher than Blackwood. You wish to speak? What can I do for you? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Here we go.
Glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. Best be careful. Curse to put my hands on everything.
looks empty. Be useful. Seems like a good moment to talk. You did this grove a great favor. And now leave the rest to us. Master Helsin's home by Sylvanus's mercy. I think it's high time you all left. Our sacred grove has sheltered you enough. Within the inner sanctum, of course. It is not for us to fight your battles. I assure you, the feeling is mutual. Mm. Master Halson's past his prime. It might be time for another. Baldur's Gate, and any cure found there.
the house who's lost his pride. It might be time for another. I don't care what those devils are. Hmm. If you'd been up to Cork, you would never have been here at all. It'll take a while for us all to recover, but you've helped us take the first step. Of course. May you keep balance. Peace. Enjoy it while it lasts. Moving in. Wits and blades always sharp. Take your hero. Take your hero. All's well that ends. Oh, not as bad as it could have. Need to find a way forward. That's curious.
What's hiding here? for battle. Don't touch me. I'm ready. This way. Your time has come. See what we have here. All cleared out. should do it. Just another crate. Let's get on with it.
Need to keep going. Best avoid that trap. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Well, I hope. No. I just wanted to see how you felt after the night we spent together. When we talked and kissed. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. I was. He mentioned Dark Justicias, and we've come across other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence. Very serious of you. But go ahead. Always good. When I'm with you. Fine. What's on your mind? I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. You're doing just fine. After all, I'd scarcely anticipated being courted while fighting for survival in the wilderness. With a flick of the wrist. Looks empty. Ah! One day I'll catch a break. Mm. Always room for more. Let's have a look.
done. Eager for battle. There's no time to waste. <clears throat> I must keep going. What a day. Step quick. Let's get going. At the ready. Shot. Cut it out. It's worse than no at ease, friend. You're welcome to rest here. If you want to go poking around in the cellar, be my guest. Plug your nose first, though. Corpse, half right to mush. Must have been down there a ten day or more. It was a toll house. By the time we arrived, it was more like a slaughterhouse. There's more monsters than coin moving down this road. There's a locked door down the hatch. Doesn't look like anyone's managed to get in. If there's any gold left, that's where it'll be. Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. A devil. The most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. This could be the work of a devil, but they collect souls through cunning, not carnage. She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. 
This is the sword of justice, blessed by Tear. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tear will consider her crimes repaid. May the just God guide you. Any sign of the tiefling fiend? She only has one horn, and she looks like she could rip your arms off with her bare hands. Hard to miss. Mind if I do. I should speak up. Devil, you've been tasked to kill. Me! <sighs> Never been better. Oh, fuck me. It's you from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so-called paladins of Tear did. Nice of you to ask. Lately, I've gotten used to being called Devil. No follow-up questions. The truth is... Well, it's a long story. And I'll tell it, but... A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. Mountains as far as the eye can see. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak, and you are. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background. If your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to probably escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Want to help me take them down? Don't worry. I'll lead the charge. 
but I could use your help. There's a lot of them, and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? A warrior who winks at her foes while she slays them. You'd be a fool to refuse her. Dirty work's the only kind I like. Gets even messier the more bodies you throw at it. Think of the potential. Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Hang on, though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? I knew we were a strange band. But uh, not... Plus, I appreciate anyone who opens a conversation... Oh, darling, I'm her. Well... slowing down trust me I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail yeah let's go straight there whatever those fucks are getting up to it's nothing good just to say by the way they're not really paladins lackeys of the archdevil playing dress up as paladins of tear no honor among devils Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Aces. Stop me yet with haste. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good after the Mind Flare ship. You just can't get enough of me, can you? Karlak! Advocatus Diaboli! The stink of Avernus! The devil's head. And yours. If you so much as... A great fire roars through you. The fire of the first hell. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. He chases the fiend, ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil, a threat to the living, evil incarnate. Your allies are fraud, a soldier in the archdevil Zariel's army. Either I cut her down, or she burns the sword coast to ash. I've tried to tell you, I am not what you think I am. I am... Uh... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. The man shudders with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. By Baldrin's helm, I... No. I will not be tricked. You saw the truth. I may be an effective soldier, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. Legged it away from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. 
The man catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. No! Devils cannot be trusted! Would you listen to sense? This doesn't have to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? <sighs> Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. <sighs> Thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. You would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce? I'll do you one better. Allies, we're looking to get rid of these parasites for good and ruin some bastard's days while we're at it. Sounds like your kind of venture. I've not grown any tentacles yet, thank Baldron. But luck won't be on our side forever. Yes, you have my blade. Your leader willing, of course. Well, soldier, what's the word? Hey! Well met, and a thousand sorries. I've pledged my life to protecting the meek from monsters. But tonight, I was the rampaging beast. I see the good in you, Karlak. I promise not to lose sight of it, even when the hells burn hottest. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade, name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. <laughs>